app and I'm the Shrum Prince. I record all the instruments myself. I was born in Christchurch, which is sort of in a city in the middle of the South Island of New Zealand. I, I started playing music when I was eight. I decided to learn as many instruments as I could. I started playing guitar, then I started playing drums. If you play guitar, bass is quite easy to pick up. I started playing tenor sax, alto sax, soprano, clarinet. After that, I started playing a lot of string instruments. The only instruments I don't play are brass instruments. When I first, first wrote the song, I demoed it like this with an acoustic guitar and just singing, singing along. Emily, oh, Emily, I told a lie. I made you cry. And for this I'll surely die. For me, it feels like a form of therapy. Um, it's just, you know, all the lyrics are based on Personal experiences. As your face, I know that I would cry. Oh, oh, oh. oh Emily. So that was this basically how the original demo sounded and turned into a lot faster. I don't listen to a lot of new music. I don't really want to compete. I sort of I just listen to as as much different music as I can, but not particularly new music. Ah, well. This is one of my favorite albums of all time. Love love, love this album. It's great. Especially Sister Midnight. My parents were both very into music. My mother used to play a lot of things like Jonathan Richmond and my father, he used, used to buy me hip-hop like NWA straight out of Compton. He bought me that when I was eight. Oh, this is great. This is a really good album. Jimmy Lyons. Um, plays a bit like Charlie Parker, but um, I, I, I just love love the sound. Yeah, this series, XRL, is great. I don't know this album particularly. I mean, I, I love everything that he does, so um, I'll just put it on. Yeah, there's sort of an Audio Coleman-ish sound about it. He's not as harsh as Albert Ayler, but, um, like his sound, but yeah, I just it's, it's, it's love, love his sound, it's amazing. on analog 
And so I end up sort of being able to peek it on, on tape and put it in the red. When I'm in New Zealand, I record all day, sort of every single day. So um, I record it for myself. I mean, it sort of sounds selfish, but I, I just record it, you know, like therapy. It's almost like going to a therapist, recording after I finish the song and listen to it. I just feel a lot better about the relationship or the breakup or what, whatever happened. <laughs> guitar I just I always want it really really loud I mean I, I it's melodic like sort of in a major key way but I just sort of want the audience to sort of feel it physically as well it's loud but they'll be able to enjoy the melody as well 